Well, when it comes to race, or I guess diversity at the academy, it's based on merits, what you've earned, on your performance, as well as like your military, your academic, as well as fitness is really the three that uh, you know factor into your cadet career as well as your commissioning. So diversity is really not like a big issue here. However, the academy does promote diversity, and I believe that that is important because it's uh, something that we should all le learn about our past, you know, where we came from. But other than that, no, the academy doesn't like give, um, I guess, favorit favoritism or anything. I, I believe it's a really fair environment, and I enjoy that. So it's basically however you know you perform is how you're going to be rewarded. So one of the really cool. Uh events that we do in Genesis Council is we have a, I guess you call it capstone a weekend of the year, which is called Eclipse Weekend. In the prior years, I was uh, went to the talent shows. We had a step team perform. It was really awesome. Uh, we had a cut comedians. We had singers. We had guitars. It was a really awesome time. Uh, but one of the most meaningful events uh, of that weekend, I would say, was um, when a lot of the officer alumni come back and talk to the uh, to the cadets who are, you know in the Genesis Council and uh, we'll just kind of kick back, have a good time together and we'll talk about issues that are bothering us or you know, difficult times that we're going through at the Academy and they'll just give us advice of how to make it through those hard times and advice on how to be you know, successful junior officers in the Coast Guard who are minorities and who are having trouble with the people at the unit. And they're really just there to present themselves to us and uh, let us know that they're there for us if we ever need anything. So it's a really good time every year. Eclipse Week was great. I served as a Master of Ceremonies for the talent show. And the talent show uh, happens every year at the end of the Clips Week. And it brings all the talent to the Academy and they get to display it. And it was an honor for me to be on stage with uh, such uh, talented uh, cadets uh, from fourth class to first class. Um, it was a great time and I would love to do it again. Two years ago, I was actually asked to be on a panel that talked about, specifically, um, all of the members on the panel were talking about mentoring in different organizations that are related to the Coast Guard and this particular panel I walked into a room and the panel there were four of us I walked into the room and the entire room was every ethnic background other than white so for the first time in my life that was a huge moment for me because for the first time in my life I was definitely the minority in that room and I kind of had a I definitely had a better understanding of what the students my minority student students in my classroom what they experience when they walk into a classroom or to an area that's predominantly white. Um, so I, I felt compassion and I understood a little better. Um, and I think Eclipse Week does that for, for a lot of our students. You know, we, there's so many of these events where we bring in um, minority officers and minority um, members of society and they talk about um, their experiences and I think that's it really exposes the cadets and the cadets better understand. Um, what we try to do their freshman year, the reason that they go through all of this military training, our goal is to make them all the same. Well, you'll never make people all the same, but if people have a better understanding of where other people are coming from, it really helps in that um, kind of equalizing everybody that year.